Thousands of power customers in Jefferson City. They woke up in the dark with no heat and the coldest day of the night last night. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis joins us with a look at what happened, who was impacted, and Lauren, the good news is the power is back on. John Robin Appalachian Electric Cooperative says power has been restored to all but 100 of its members. The general manager wants people to know he can't guarantee outages won't happen again, but the co-op will learn from what happened. This switch is what caused a power outage across Jefferson and northern Sevier counties. The general manager of the Appalachian Electric Cooperative says it failed on a power line that carried electricity to the co-op's members. That switch was approaching end of life and we actually had planned to replace that entire line from the substation over the next several months. The power outage lasted from a little after 6 in the morning to about noon when power was fully restored. School was called off for all Jefferson County students after the director of schools says half of the schools were without power. He says those schools make up about 70% of the district's population. We went ahead and, and ran the buses all the way through their route and brought all students to school. Once car riders started arriving around 7.15, we turned them back home and made a one call out to all our parents and employees canceling school for the day. And schools weren't the only thing seeing a delay. Some businesses in Dandridge got a late start after the outage. The manager of Dandridge Brewing Company says thankfully, his business opens closer to the afternoon. We pretty much started on time. Uh, maybe a few minutes late, we put out a Facebook post to, to all of our uh, patrons that it could be a delay. And for those wondering if an outage will happen again. There will be at some point another outage. I hope it's not consistent. I don't want it to be consistent. It will not be consistent. We will have a debrief of this situation just like we did with Winter Storm Elliott with TVA to explain what went wrong here to ensure it does not happen again. The general manager wants people to know this was not a blackout because there was power available for members. He says the switch failure resulted in power not going out to customers. John Robin. Lauren Davis on the story. Thank you, Lauren.